What's up family? Good morning to you. Yet another moment that I want to share something exciting because as much as our situation globally is crazy, we have to also think about the kids. It's been a crazy time for them. School was crazy. But guess what? It is summer. So we know it's a new normal, but we want to still bring in something that could at least have them to express themselves creatively. And we always want healthy avenues so that they can do so. So I have a good friend here. Her name is Chelsea. So, you know, I almost rhyme in names because Chelsea and Chayla are very close. How are you today, my love? I'm good. Very good. So I'm very thrilled and excited to introduce you to our DBS family because she is starting a summer camp and it's actually Miss C's Kiddies Art Club. All right. Now, I love the name already, but I love what it stands for. So Chelsea, I'm not going to steal your shine. This is all your idea. So tell us about your initiative and what you're planning on doing with your art club. Okay, so um, this is a four-week program where the students will be learning a variety of art um, projects, mainly papier-mâché, painting, drawing, um, and other techniques that they can learn. Batik, yes, exactly. So it will be a very fun, exciting program for children, especially since they spend a lot of time at home with their parents. They may want to um, mingle in arts and activities that would um, help them with their creativity. <laughs> yes, so it will be a nice program for the kids. And I, oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I'm yes. So, excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I really wanted to get them onto that so that they can explore different techniques and uh, it will help them to catch up with whatever areas of art that they may have missed in primary school. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Now you see, sorry for my interruption a while ago, but clearly you can see I'm too excited about this. So I see what you're doing as something very important, very essential. And even for my son, I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to put JJ because he keeps saying he's not creative. So for any parent out there whose child seems to think they cannot be creative or whatnot, sometimes all you need is an opportunity to dabble in many things and you might find something that you love or discover a hidden passion as well. So I think it's a great period for discovery if they come to your summer program as well yes yes for sure it will help with them mm -hmm. catching up like i said and stimulating their brains and to become more creative Great. now you did touch on some of the things when i read the flyer i mean the batik stood out for me i always knew to do tie-dye just traditional but i know thanks to my morning show batik is a bit of a different process so it's like this is very outside of the box um i think you also mentioned like pop-up cards are gonna be yes. things that you do Cards. They will be doing pop-up cards and for the batik it's not the actual technique that we know mm -hmm. as batik. It's actually an imitation of batik mm -hmm. where you use white glue instead of wax and acrylic paint instead of dye. Okay. So it's, it's something I did with my students because I am an art teacher. I did it with my students before and I find it was a really nice technique and I really want to show the children that. It's somewhat of a magical kind of thing mm -hmm. because when they're laying the glue down it doesn't look like anything crazy until they actually rinse it off and then they see the actual design so it's very exciting i know they will love it mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm very excited for that can i say that you have me intrigued like i'm gonna ask at this point what's the age range because i'm already here to register myself so what is our age range the age range is from six to twelve years old no exceptions for like maybe if you like 25 and a half like me well, maybe i can consider an adult class sometime later <laughs> yes but that definitely sounds interesting and um, i mean for it to even excite me says a lot so now we know the age range six to twelve let's get to know the lady behind this because you did mention you are a visual arts teacher so let's talk about your love and how you kind of discovered art for yourself okay um as far as i can remember i've always been artistic in helping my aunts and my sisters to dress helping with color matching always drawing anytime you have my notebooks in school at the back you can find a full page of drawings all the time um, but I started taking it very serious when I did it for um, visual arts for CSEC and uh, from there I decided you know what that's my, my, my that's my goal that's where I see myself this is the path that I need to take and I went to Saafa and afterwards I started teaching at Vidbute Secondary School and later on I transferred to Castro's Comprehensive. 
Now, besides that, what she left out of this story is that I also discovered her a couple years ago, although she did remind me, but I, I did figure your face looked familiar. And it was also to do with an art exhibition. So I believe your words because now that you reminded me off camera, I was like, okay, yeah. So this is definitely somebody who's living their passion and doing something meaningful for the kids and something at least that helps give us an ease and some peace of mind knowing that the brains can be stimulated. So on this note, this is where we're going to give you the facts. So y'all better get your pens and papers out. So just let them know the official start date and obviously I guess the times that it's going to be running. Okay, so the program will begin on Wednesday, the 5th of August. Mm -hmm and it will end on the 28th but it will only be on wednesdays thursdays and fridays from 10 a.m to 2 p.m now how much does it cost if someone wants to register their kid the cost for the um, program is 280 dollars but that includes um, all the materials that the students will need to produce their projects mm -hmm. and also refreshments okay, so basically i have nothing to worry about except making sure i get my son there on time right Yes, just drop them off and they'll be fine. <laughs> ah, good question. Where are we dropping them off? Oh, location will be at the Castries Comprehensive Secondary School in the Visual Arts Room. That's a nice central location too. So uh, whether you're um, on foot or you have a vehicle, it's easily to access. All right, so St. Lucia, I'm going to say it again. You can't say that I didn't tell you. So this is something amazing for the kids that stimulate their minds, but in a creative way. So there's nothing to lose with that. And of course, Miss C knows how to deal with the kiddies. So you have an expert at the helm and make sure you take advantage of this. And I know I'm going to do so. I'm curious to see if my son is going to emerge out there and actually figure out that, okay, there's something I can actually do. I think it's going to be an opportunity for all our DBS kids to get a chance to experience something different and, you know, at least take their mind away from COVID-19. And we will state again, protocols are enforced. So you know what you got to do, walk with your mask, your sanitizers, just in case. All students will be sanitized upon entry and they will be regularly hand hand washing there will be regular hand washing and also they will be distanced nicely in the classroom they will not be sitting closely with each other so there, I'm sure we've addressed the final concern on people's minds. So she is COVID ready. So there's no reason for us not to get the kids into this initiative. So all the best with that. I'm looking forward to the end result with my son too. So guys, I'm definitely going to bring you all some more on this story. And thank you so much for coming through. Okay. Thank you so much. You're all right.